Hey guys, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. In today's video, we are going to talk about GeoIP filtering in Ubiquiti Unify. And GeoIP filtering basically means that you can decide to block or allow certain countries to access your network or your services that are behind your firewall. There are two ways you can configure GeoIP filtering. We are going to see how to configure each method. And the most pressing issue I want to talk about is a caveat that I've discovered almost by mistake, uh, where I discovered that certain security features negate each other or conflict with each other. I presented it to Ubiquiti support and they have confirmed that this is a real caveat. This is a real issue. Now, I am going to show you what this caveat is all about. It's not documented anywhere, at least nowhere that I have seen. And once you know about it, you will be able to decide better on how to protect your network. So join me, make sure to watch the entire video. I'm going to talk about the caveat later in the video. So let's go over to the computer and start seeing stuff. Join me. All right, guys, so we are at the computer and we are going to jump right in and see a, 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 what is a, a, a GOIP filtering all about? Uh, I'm using the classic menu because this is uh, what I'm most comfortable with. So if I go to settings and I go to routing and firewall, there is a tab still in beta, I must say, GOIP filtering. In this section, you can select countries, a country or several countries in which you can decide whether you want to block uh, traffic from uh, 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 and what is the direction both outgoing incoming or you want to select uh, uh, countries in which you want to allow uh, 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 traffic from now there is a difference between the block and allow not only just this is blocking and this is allowing it depends on the on the type of usage you have on your network for example if you have I don't know uh, a website that you host or something like that and you know that you are uh, doing business or uh, um, communicating with uh, clients across the world, except for a few countries, you can decide to select the specific countries you consider to be, I don't know, maybe any, any connection from them is considered a security threat and block the connection from these specific countries, but all other countries are open to communicate with you. And you can be even more strict this is method number two, where you know that you are only communicating with your, I don't know, branch offices in a few countries, maybe the United States, maybe the United Kingdom, maybe Australia. And you know that you are only supposed to be communicating with these countries, maybe not even, I don't know, web traffic, nothing like that. So if you select these few selected countries, and you click on allow, then all other countries will be blocked automatically. I have confirmed this with the Ubiquiti support, of course. So these are the two directions that we can go. Selecting a few countries and clicking block, and this will only block these specific countries and every other country will be open. Or we can select a country to allow traffic from and all other countries will be blocked. So this is the, uh, the GOIP filtering. This is the direction. Uh, uh, by the way, it's not very different uh, uh, in many other uh, uh, vendors. So according to your usage, to your network usage, uh, uh, maybe it's private, maybe in business, you can select a country. For me, for in this example, I'm not expecting to do any business or to accept any communication from North Korea. So I'm choosing North Korea, choosing the block, incoming and apply settings by the way if you select both this means that even webs websites hosted on these countries will also be blocked so for example if you uh, selected just for example i don't know the netherlands and you uh, block both even websites on the netherlands that are hosted on the ne netherlands that have uh, 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 the netherlands ip address they will be blocked if you just select the incoming, so websites in the Netherlands will be open for you to, uh, to browse, but incoming traffic will be blocked. 
So again, these are the small uh, minor differences between, uh, uh, between the, the toggles. So you decide on your own what is the best uh, scenario for you. Now, here is the caveat that I have uh, uh, that I've almost by mistake encountered it. Looks like, or it not looks like, it's confirmed that if you have enabled the IPS, meaning this feature right here, IPS, or if you have enabled smart queues, I mean this feature right here where you, where you go to networks, choose your WAN connection and enable smart queues. If you enable any one of these services, you have practically negated the effect of GOIP filtering and Ubiquity support even gave me a link to a community post where they have themselves confirmed it. This feature only works for offloaded traffic at this point. This means only traffic that has been offloaded to a hardware chip that processes data where IPS and smart queues are, at least from what I understand from them, is still processed on the CPU. You have, uh, if you have se selected smart queues or I IDS IPS, then it will negate the function of GeoIP blocking. This means that if you have lived with a false sense of security where you have IPS enabled and also GeoIP filtering, this is not the case. If you have enabled IPS or smart queues, GeoIP filtering stops functioning. This is at least uh, from what I have seen, not documented anywhere. If I'm mistaken, please let me know in the comment section below so I can apologize. This is not documented anywhere. I'm pretty sure that at least my friends and colleagues and people that use uh, uh, Unify have not been aware of this uh, conflict. So just be aware of it uh, 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 and now decide which is more relevant for you. IPS, IDS or smart queues or geo IP filtering. It cannot be both. So keep it in mind, this is the caveat. I hope that I can send it out to as much audience as I can. If you're seeing it, please share it and please join me in the next video. And we are going to keep talking about Ubiquity Unify. I thank you so much for being, for being here. If this video helped you, please hit the like button and join our Facebook groups, links in the description below. Thank you guys, bye bye.